Hey there guys, n 7 here and today we're gonna talk about Tetris Connected or Tetris Effect. So the thing is, this game first came out as an exclusive to the PlayStation platform and if I remember it was PC2 or later released on PC but it didn't come to Xbox until a little before the launch of the Xbox Series X which if you want to talk about the Xbox Series X loading and gaming performance which is what we're gonna talk about today on Tetris Connected or Effect. I'm just gonna call it Effect. A uh, little playlist on top. But without further ado, let's see how this game compares from the Xbox Series X update, which is Series X optimized, um, not just, you know, raw, it's actually optimized, to the Xbox One X. And I was actually a little surprised by my findings. I wasn't expecting such a different outcome. I wasn't expecting such an increase in performance out of Tetris. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. Internal installation on both consoles. And before we go further into this, I'd like to invite you to check out this little bubble on top where it's my guide on how you can use the Microsoft Rewards program to be able to buy, well, I mean, redeem points so you can get free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. That one, it's a program that Microsoft has been doing for a little while. And uh, if you're interested in playing this game and not have to pay individually for it, and gain access to the entirety of the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate perks, then check my video out. But anyway, we're looking at 30 seconds on the Xbox Series X and about 60 seconds on the Xbox One X, which when compared next to each other, it feels like a long time. But Tetris always loaded decently fast to me, sort of like Rogue Company, little bubble on top for that video. Uh, definitely, it feels quite optimized. The, the features you're gonna get uh, as to improvements, which I'll show you in a little bit, is a higher resolution. Uh, the Xbox One X, if I remember right, targets 4K, but it does not hit it most of the time because this game is crazy, like hallucinogenic, almost levels of crazy. It's beautiful though. I love this game. The soundtrack's amazing and I actually listen to it off, you know, off gaming. I put it on Apple Music, which recently came out, which is awesome. And so I love this game. It's probably one of my favorites uh, of this generation. And we'll see if it takes the test of time and it's still fun after a little while, but especially the connected update that they released once the Xbox Series X came out just made it even better uh, since it was an exclusive to PlayStation and PC. But yeah, this game, this part, this specific part, I wanted to show you because the game for some reason I noticed it, uh, it might just be me, placebo effect, but when I was playing on the Xbox One X, at this part where all these particles are going all over the place and it's getting crazy and beautiful, um, I noticed drops in frames. Like I noticed that there was sort of an input lag because I'm the kind of player that likes to drop his pieces quickly and yeah, don't judge my Tetris skills, okay? Uh, but I noticed that there was some sort of disconnect between what I was doing and not just this level, but I try to show this level because it's the easiest one to uh, get, get it to do this. But there's other level, one or two levels that I noticed on normal difficulty, it would also struggle. It was just, I don't know where, just chuckle. And the Xbox Series X doesn't. And plus the resolution, the particles, guys, it all looks beautiful. Like. Definitely looks amazing on the Xbox One X, but on the Series X, there's some level of clarity to it that, honestly, if you never played the one, the Series X version, I don't think you'll ever bother with it. Um, you won't even notice it. But if you play the Xbox One X version and then go to a Series X or vice versa, or even have them next to each other, you'll notice that clarity. But I wouldn't say it's deal breaker. And the FPS, it's not a deal breaker either. Uh, it's just it's still a really phenomenally optimized game nonetheless so don't worry about playing it on the one x um, but if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below i invite you to check out the full playlist of all the games that i check out uh, their gameplay and loading and if you have a request i have over 200 games on the xbox and i can pretty surely get a video for you but anyway, till next time, I'm nwar 7 and I appreciate your support. And once we get to 200, I mean 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to make a giveaway of one free month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So stay put with a subscribe and a bell and a like along the way so you get notified whenever I release the rules for that giveaway. Until next time.